In a city packed with more than 9,000 high-rises, more towers than some entire countries, Hong Kong hides a paradox that still shocks engineers around the world. Its skyscrapers are built using bamboo. Not steel frames, not cutting-edge materials, but over 5 million bamboo poles woven every year around the exteriors of towering buildings, forming a giant wall suspended in midair. These seemingly fragile poles wrap around multi-billion dollar structures and tremble in the wind, as if a single mistake could spark a devastating disaster. So why would one of Asia's most advanced financial hubs put its trust in a material that's flammable, lightweight, and looks outdated? The bold story behind that choice is something you won't be able to look away from. Few people realize that one of China's most enduring resources comes from a hollow plant. Over 7 million hectares of bamboo forests stretch across the country like a giant green carpet. Not only a symbol of Asian culture, but also a $60 billion a year industry that many nations can only dream of. But bamboo's story goes far beyond its economic value. From old riverside houses and wooden bridges linking village to village, to scaffolding built entirely by hand for thousands of years, bamboo has been the backbone of countless structures long before humanity ever invented steel or concrete. With its flexible yet strong fiber structure, it can withstand storms, high winds, and even survive across generations. Yet bamboo's journey doesn't end in the past. In a city packed with skyscrapers like Hong Kong, bamboo still plays a vital irreplaceable role. Quiet, but essential. And it wasn't until the devastating fire of 2025 shocked the world that a hidden truth finally surfaced. Why bamboo has survived in modern construction for hundreds of years. The disaster began on the afternoon of November 26, 2025, at the Wang Fook Court housing complex in Taipo. It started with just a small spark that caught the protective mesh in the bamboo scaffolding, and within seconds, everything spun out of control. Twelve seconds later, the entire bamboo frame ignited as if it had been soaked in fuel, swallowing the building's exterior and turning it into a fire column hundreds of meters tall. Inside, residents were trapped in thick black smoke and unbearable heat. Hallways glowed red, stairwells went completely dark, and burning bamboo rained down like fireballs, making it nearly impossible for rescue crews to get close. The alarm level was raised to level 5, the highest. More than 60 fire trucks battled throughout the night, but the flames clung tightly to the dry bamboo, rendering every effort almost useless. When the fire finally died, Hong Kong was left in heavy silence. 94 people dead, dozens injured, and hundreds evacuated in the middle of the night. And in the smoldering aftermath, one question echoed across the entire city. Why was such a flammable material used to wrap the exterior of skyscrapers in the first place? To understand why bamboo is still trusted today, you have to look at how it's actually built something far more surprising than most people expect. Behind the familiar sheets of fabric covering Hong Kong's skyscrapers lies a construction world almost no one sees except the scaffolders themselves. Every bamboo structure rising dozens of stories begins with just two simple materials. Thick bamboo poles for the main load and thinner ones for reinforcement, woven together like the skeleton of a giant creature clinging to the building. No bolts, no forged steel, only plastic ties pulled tight by hand, forming perfect grid patterns strong enough to withstand the winds that whip through narrow city streets. Layer after layer is added from the ground all the way to the rooftop without any heavy machinery. Becoming a true bamboo scaffolder takes three to five years of training, learning how to climb, tie, balance, and even feel the tension of the bamboo through the palms of their hands. From a distance, the whole system looks fragile, but the closer you look, the more you understand how it has survived for a century. A quiet craft that holds an entire city up in the sky. In real construction work, bamboo is seen as the industry's secret weapon. Not because of its strength, but because of its almost unbelievable flexibility. When a building needs its windows replaced 200 meters up, a long vertical crack repaired, or a massive billboard weighing tons installed, 
Bamboo is often the only material that can wrap perfectly around any shape of a structure. While steel scaffolding requires precise joints and can take weeks to assemble, bamboo can bend, twist, and grip onto every corner in just a few hours. In alleyways so narrow that trucks can't even back in, scaffolders simply carry the poles by hand up each floor and build the framework right on the spot, something no metal system can do. With bamboo, the city gains an extra temporary backbone, so flexible and alive that you almost forget it's just a hollow plant. At 30 stories up, bamboo stops being just a material. It becomes fate. Every scaffolder knows they're standing on poles no thicker than a wrist, tied together with knots they have no choice but to trust completely. One strong gust of wind is enough to make the whole frame tremble like their own heartbeat. What most people don't realize is that for bamboo to even reach this height, it goes through a strict life cycle. Three to five years of growing, three months of sun drying, and it can only be used a maximum of three times. But no matter how carefully the poles are selected, humans remain the weakest link. Every year there are slips, poles that snap without warning, and tiny accidents so quick they're almost invisible, yet enough to take a life in seconds. Not as loud or dramatic as the 2025 fire, these tragedies happen quietly. But they reveal the constant danger hiding behind every single bamboo pole. So if it were you, would you dare to stand at that height for about $18 an hour? After everything we've seen, all the risks, all the close calls, you'd think bamboo would have been banned from modern construction. But here's the irony. The very things that make bamboo look outdated are exactly what give it an edge steel or aluminum can't touch. Bamboo walks onto a job site like a silent economic warrior. It's so cheap that any project, from an old apartment block to a million dollar skyscraper, can put up scaffolding without ballooning the budget like metal would. It grows everywhere in southern China. It's light to transport, easy to replace, almost as if it were made for a city that never stops building, like Hong Kong. But what keeps bamboo alive after all these centuries is a kind of efficiency no other material can mimic. It's light as air, letting workers climb, tie, and hang hundreds of feet above the ground using nothing but their own strength. Its flexibility lets it absorb shaking, impacts and sudden gusts between buildings, moments where steel can sometimes snap. And behind all that is one of nature's own tricks. Bamboo is the fastest growing plant on earth, stretching up to 60 centimeters in a single night, reaching 40 meters tall, built from long vertical fibers that act like natural cables. That structure makes bamboo harder to snap sideways than steel of the same weight. Once you understand that, you realize bamboo isn't a relic of the past at all. It's a natural solution that modern construction, whether it likes it or not, still depends on. Even though those bamboo scaffolds can wrap around an entire skyscraper, their true soul lies in the people behind them. The workers who have spent their whole lives clinging to the city's facades with calloused hands. They're the few who can feel bamboo with their palms, who can hear the slight bend of each pole, who know exactly where pressure can be placed and which knot must be fixed before the wind changes direction. There was a time when Hong Kong had tens of thousands of men like that. They climbed the scaffolds as if performing a ritual, casually stepping up to the 30th floor in simple rubber slippers, tying knots so fast your eyes couldn't follow. Their names never appeared on construction records, nor were they present at grand openings. Yet they were the first to lay hands on a building, and the last to leave after the final frame came down. But this trade demands more than skill. It demands courage. Every step hangs over a height where a single strong gust is enough to tighten a man's chest. $90 a day isn't small money, but it will never truly balance the daily risk that no one can predict. And as Hong Kong grows more modern by the day, these workers remain quietly in the background, keeping every bamboo pole straight, every knot secure, so the city can continue standing tall against the sky. After the 2025 disaster, questions about safety were no longer just debates within the construction industry. They became the driving force behind stricter regulations. Authorities began tightening standards, requiring material inspections, supervising every joint, 
and clearly defining where bamboo scaffolding could still be used. In the new urban landscape, steel and modern modular scaffolding systems are gradually taking over in financial districts, commercial zones, and new high-rise projects. Places that demand fast progress, international standards, and uniform load-bearing capacity. With 3D modeling, facade inspecting drones, and wall climbing robots supporting construction, many contractors are beginning to envision a future less reliant on traditional materials. Even so, bamboo hasn't disappeared. Its low cost, lightweight, and unmatched adaptability to the twisted, irregular surfaces of older buildings give it a unique place in the city. In narrow alleys where trucks can't enter, or on decades-old structures with complicated facades, bamboo remains the only material that can truly hug the shape of Hong Kong. In the next 10-15 years, the city will likely witness a quiet transition, steel scaffolding rising with the new skyline, and bamboo holding onto the old streets, where history and modernity briefly stand side by side on the same facade. As Hong Kong stands between two choices, preserving tradition or shifting fully to modern steel scaffolding, a bigger question begins to surface. Where is the future of building materials headed as the environment becomes more alarming by the day? The global construction industry now accounts for nearly 40% of all energy consumption and emits over 2.7 billion tons of CO2 each year, leaving behind a massive carbon footprint no city can ignore. And under that pressure, the world is once again turning its eyes to bamboo, not just as scaffolding, but as a promising green material for the future. Bamboo's journey doesn't end on high-rise scaffolding. Once it leaves the construction site, it steps into a gentler, more delicate role, becoming the small green products we hold every day. To get there, bamboo goes through a kind of transformation. Carefully selected columns are cut down, hollowed and smoothed until they're as clean as the inside of a flute. Inside the workshop, they're dried at 70 to 40 degrees until their natural golden color appears. Then each piece is hand polished to remove every rough edge so that when it touches your lips, all you feel is pure simplicity. After being disinfected and dried again at a low temperature, every straw is sorted like a true handcrafted item before being placed into recycled cardboard packaging. Tiny and unassuming as it is, each bamboo straw is a reminder that nature still offers us a way forward, a way to replace single-use plastic one sip at a time. If bamboo straws are the starting point of a sustainable lifestyle, then bamboo spoons are the next step, where this humble material gets upgraded by technology. After the finest pieces of bamboo are selected, they don't enter a simple manual process. Instead, they go straight into an automated cutting system, where each spoon blank is shaped by high-speed blades. Robotic arms then smooth the curve of the handle, polish the bowl of the spoon, and refine every surface until it feels solid in the hand, yet warm with bamboo's natural touch. Sterilizing and drying take place in sealed chambers to preserve the wood's natural color. And only after passing a final inspection for smoothness and durability are the spoons packaged, sometimes by hand, sometimes by robots, before leaving the factory to become a refined, eco-friendly companion at every meal. Bamboo never stops surprising us, even as it finds its way into the most familiar objects in our daily lives, like the toothbrush we use every morning. Mature bamboo pieces are carefully selected, trimmed, and shaped into gently curved handles that feel warm in the hand, a stark contrast to cold plastic. Once the handle blanks are formed, an automatic drill creates rows of tiny, perfectly aligned holes, ready for the bristles. On another line, a laser etches the brand logo onto the surface, crisp and clean while preserving bamboo's natural color. The bristles, chosen for softness and durability, are then inserted with robotic precision into each slot. Finally, each bamboo toothbrush is packaged in a minimal, sturdy paper box, ready to become a greener alternative to single-use plastic. A small, everyday item, yet one that continues the endless story of bamboo's ability to reinvent itself in a sustainable age. If bamboo toothbrushes show us the material's refinement in tiny details, 
Then in another form, bamboo steps into fire to tell a completely different story. The story of green energy. Inside large kilns, bamboo tubes are stacked upright, leaving small gaps for heat to flow through like the hot breath of a furnace. Once the kiln is sealed, with only a few vents left open, the entire chamber becomes a closed reaction vessel where temperatures of 600, 700 degrees are held for five to seven days. In that dense darkness, the cellulose and lignin slowly break down, leaving behind a glossy black carbon core, the soul of bamboo charcoal. When the lid is opened, a thin white smoke drifts out, revealing smooth, solid, evenly colored charcoal, the sign of a perfect carbonization batch. Each kiln produces about two to three tons, which are then crushed or kept whole and packed in eco-friendly craft paper bags. From cooking fuel and water filters to deodorizing and cosmetics, bamboo charcoal proves one thing. The journey of bamboo doesn't end on scaffolds or dining tables. It keeps finding its way into modern life. Even though the world has stepped firmly into an era of steel, glass, and construction robots, Bamboo still quietly holds a place no other material can replace, a kind of green backbone that supports skyscrapers in a way that's both simple and astonishing. From the scaffolding wrapped around city facades to the small everyday items we use, Bamboo shows that the power of nature can still move forward hand in hand with modern technology. If you found the journey of this hollow plant inspiring, don't forget to like and follow Mandarin Tech to discover more incredible engineering stories.